you already know what it is. It's your boy Archer the OB. I'm coming to you with a brand new video. I'm gonna do something today I've never done before. Something I see all over YouTube. Something that I wouldn't say I've ever been necessarily interested in trying, but I'm giving it a shot just to just to do new things. Today we're gonna be doing a tier list. Before we get into it, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Today we're gonna be talking about One Piece. One Piece in the year 2020 changed my life. It real life changed my life, straight up. I think I might do a video about that, explaining it, because I feel like people don't get it. They think it's a joke. They think it's a joke when I talk about One Piece. It's fucking serious. We're not doing that today. Today we're doing a tier list. We are doing a tier list of the One Piece villains. To be honest with you, I don't think I am an expert on all of them just because I'm just kind of like bad at like, just like remembering people. I pulled this up and there's a lot of people here that I don't even like know the name of, but I have like a general idea of the arc they come from. Anyways, let's get into it. So this is the um, fucking pervert guy with the invisible fruit, I think. Thriller Bark. So I guess it's like, how do we how do we rank villainy? You know what I mean? Like, do we think, are we talking about how cool they are? How much of a threat they are? Um, their powers, you know what I'm saying? Because being invisible, good power. But man's was kind of a goofy. Matter of fact, you know what? We're putting him in a D tier. Cause he fucking was on some weird Predator shit. Invisible powers, super strong, you know what I mean? But yeah, what he was doing to Nami, unacceptable. We respect and protect women, so let's not do that. Kaido, S tier, it's a, it's a Yonko. It's an emperor, dog. I feel like the emperor's default in the S tier just because of how fucking powerful they are and shit. But moving beyond that, outside of being a dope ass dragon, Kaido's out here on some kill myself energy and he's too fucking powerful to even end his own life. He's actually just built different. On top of that, he supports trans rights, so you know that's positive, it's Pride Month, you know what I mean? A progressive king in young Kaido, so Kaido, S tier. This is Captain Kuro, you know, uh, Sir Village is kinda ass, so I'm gonna put you in the D tier. Arlong, <clears throat> Arlong, we're going B tier. Maybe even A, hmm. See, my thing with Arlong, right, is he's the big bad in the East Blue, right? On top of that, all the trauma he put Nami through. That arc was probably the first moment in One Piece for me where I was like, you know what? This might be something special. I'm gonna put Arlong in A just because of what his arc meant for me and my One Piece journey. Uh, I need to. No opinions. Sengoku, gotta put him in the eighth tier. The man turns into a giant golden ass Buddha. That shit's fucking fire. Um, this is the Blade dude from Baroque Works, Mr. Or something. A number or a day, I don't know. Slander me in the comments if you want. I'm going to put the underlings in the, the seat here. That's just where general underlings go unless I have a different opinion. Uh, Foxy, I think as a villain, he's definitely a D tier villain. But as a fun character, I might put him in the C. You know, the slow, slow beam thing and um, Afro Luffy and just the Davy back fight. I might have to do that. I have to do that. I might have to, I might have to put him in the, no, 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 no. We're gonna put him in the D tier. Van Damme, something like that, from Eni's Lobby, which is also a landmark moment where I transitioned from, oh, this might be special to this is special and in my top five. See, but like, you're not even the most in exciting part of that so we're gonna put you in C who the fuck is that oh that's the giraffe dude oh, why 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 is he why did they pick that picture the giraffe dude is cooler than that dude so I might put him in the B tier and this is the the girl I'll put her confidently in the B tier because I think she's funny and um, with the way she was talking about um, the harassment and shit her soap powers are super cool and it, I like my thing with One Piece 2 that I like is that everybody, aside from Luffy who kind of just like wills his way through fights, everybody else kind of has to get creative about it. And I appreciate the creativity that came through with Nami beating her when it comes to like her climb attack thing and all that stuff. So I, I rock with, I rock with her on that level. The one chick who was helping Caesar, I don't know her name, but she's a lackey too, you know what I mean? We're gonna, we're gonna put her in the C tier, you know what I mean? With all the other lackeys. So I guess these two were in the B, but yeah, I don't know. We're gonna put her there. Moria's powers. Now Moria's powers are super like kind of OP, um, which would get him like a high spot. The thing is, 
I don't really like Thriller Bark like that. As a main enemy of this section, as a warlord of the sea, you would think that would guarantee like an A slot. Um, but that section's kind of like not it for me. So that like kind of bounces him down to a B. I also think he looks goofy and that's not cool either. You can't like look like a fucking doof and expect to get a high tier. So I'm gonna put Moria, possibly a controversial take, in the C tier. Yeah, yeah. I don't like it. I don't like them. Uh, Kizuru? Um, yeah, no, these fucking powers are nasty. The, the glint glint shit, like the lights and shit, that shit's fire. Fujitora, fucking dope. Fucking, fucking good guy. He's a good guy, you know what I'm saying? And his powers are fucking nasty. Is this the guy from the gold movie? To be honest, of all the movies, the gold movie is the one I remember the least. I know his power is overpowered with the way he used it, um, so that would give him a high slot, but I don't know, we're gonna see. Smoker, weird to call him a villain, because I mean, he is opposition, but they end up working together every fucking time anyway. Uh, Smoker, just because, yeah. Uh, mm. Huh. Yeah, I'll put him in the A tier. Cause I don't think his powers are like crazy. I think he's just a good guy and that's kind of why I rock with him. But this is a villain. This thing, I ain't set my own rules. I don't know. I don't know. At this point, it's just who I like at this point. Just how much I like these people. Blackbeard, S tier. Like, I don't like his missing teeth, but like he's actually a evil fucking dude. Like if it was, this is one that's like straight up, like I don't actually um really like Blackbeard. So like from that perspective, I put him lower, but the philosophical, questions he poses the fact that this man is always playing chess not checkers you know he's actually just built different and we don't know why yet there's a lot of mystery and mysteries have to appeal for um one piece for me so s tier easily no doubt one of the dudes he freed from prison to be honest you're very nondescript to me d tier i'm sorry oh my gosh this guy is s tier off the strength of the fact that he's just actually evil as fuck. I don't actually like him. I want him to be lower, but he's like, somebody's gotta, somebody's gotta end him. Buggy the Clown, goaded, A tier. Uh, he's not, see you gotta, here's the thing. Despite how much fun Buggy is, the list needs some credibility. I can't put him in the S tier, you know? I just can't. Even if I like him more than some of the people up there, I can't do that. You know, it's not right. It's not right to the credibility of the list. And see, I would put him in B tier. I feel like that's kind of where his power and influence aligns. But man, like, you know, the, the, the amount of energy he provides later on during the prison and war arc, you know, like, it's, you know, it's just a fun guy. I just, I just can't, I can't, you know, he just, he just, he deserves, he deserves better than that. You know what? But credibility, like he's still a goofy. You know what I mean? I feel like A and S have to be like real threats. And Buggy's not a threat, he's just a fun guy. Oh man, but he's such a fun guy. You know what, we're just, we're just gonna keep him there. The ghost chick, um. Yeah, I'll put her in the C tier. I think her power's cool. I think the way Usopp overcomes them is funny. Um, but she's kind of like chilling. She's not anything crazy. Kuma, Kuma the God. Kuma, Kuma's a good dude. Powers are fucking weird. They're, you know, creative. Virgo, can be put in the C. His armament's crazy, but you know, like he's kind of, matter of fact, I'm gonna drop him to D. You know what I'm saying? Magellan, cool for the gags. Very strong, very strong. So that's why I kind of put him at A. I don't know, his impact isn't really felt like that to me. So I just feel like maybe he should be in B, but he also kind of fucking smacked the shit out of Luffy mad times, almost killed him. Yeah, that, that's a guaranteed A, just off the strength of almost killing the guy, you know what I'm saying? See, this is why I don't do these lists, cause I just don't actually have like, maybe it's just this one, cause it's like villainy. So I'm like, who do I like? But then also who is actually villainous? Also, who's powerful? I don't know how to weigh these properly. And that's what's stressing me out. Now, see, Caesar off the strength of Caesar and Punk Hazard, kind of evil as fuck, would probably be like a guaranteed A at least. Caesar's kind of like a goofy. And so he just like loses a lot of that mystique as he continues to travel with the team. 
C tier, let's go. Who is this? Oh, is that Sanji's dad? Toxic. We're gonna go B. Hody Jones, a fish man island. It doesn't really do it for me, so we're gonna put you there. And now, we're gonna put you in, even though I don't really like Skypea, the implications of what Skypea can mean later and the strength of this man's devil fruit. I will put him in a Don Quixote do Flamingo. The drip, the king. You know, he's just different. A celestial dragon, the fucking pre Wano, the biggest arc villain. Yeah, do Flamingo is just different. Straight up, backstory, everything, just different. Gotta put some respect on his name. Goaded for sure. Crocodile. A lot of people, a lot of people love Crocodile. A lot of people put Crocodile up there. Crocodile's a guaranteed at least A. I might put him in S. Just just because he kind of starts off a lot of the shit for us, whether that be the Warlord system, Poneglyphs, ancient weapons, grand shit. And again, I appreciate his power because it required creativity to overcome. That's, you know what I'm saying? It's not just, I'm gonna get, get angrier, I'm gonna get stronger. Like, nah, like you really needed to work through it and you know he came in clutch during the war a couple times so we gotta we gotta put some respect on crocodile's name as well uh senor pink fucking nasty a tier he's different he's just different you know the way he, what, what are the, the the women call him hard boiled he's different sugar's power is crazy just off the strength of her power she doesn't really have much personality though so i kind of want to put her in b but no like her power is insane um it's evil as shit and the way she gets taken out is funny as hell too, so I gotta put some respect on that. Rob Lucci, kind of the main bad guy in my, uh, the, the arc that won me over. Um, so I kinda wanna put him up there, you know, with uh, Dofi and Crocodile, just to make like a big three. But I feel like, you know, personality wise, like in terms of like philosophical whatever, he doesn't really, offer much from my remembering like i think luffy kind of just powers through and he's like i'm not gonna fucking lose to you i'm not gonna fall again and it's a dope moment but i don't know he doesn't really do it for me i feel like he deserves a but i think i might go b just off the strength of like me not really vibing who's this aokiji boom easily the god aokiji's cool as shit that's my guy that's my guy that's my favorite marine probably behind garpin yeah, just guard. Uh, pudding? I think that's pudding. Pudding's fun. She has her whole like split personality thing that's like funny when that whole thing comes out. And that part when she was like shitting on dude like really hurt my feelings for him. So I felt that. Katakuri. There we go. That'll be our villainous big three. Katakuri's fucking cool. And he eats donuts. And he's nasty with it. And he wants Luffy to be king of the pirates low key. He's kind of fire. Who is this? I don't, who the fuck is that? The fact that I don't know who you are, uh, C tier. Cause I feel like, I'd say D, but like I feel like that's one of Big Mom's people. And I said earlier, all the Stooges go to the C tier. Matter of fact, we were gonna put you in D just cause I genuinely don't even know. Like I really, I really can't tell. Uh, one of Sanji's brothers. You gotta go below your pops, feel me? It's that Jack. Uh, uh Cause he's super strong. That's the only reason he's not. Like, here's the thing. All the people here, either like one note or forgettable. You know what I'm saying? So all Big Mom's kids, cause they're all like steroid strong and shit. They can probably go into the C tier. C. C. No, C. C. But C, Cracker. Yeah, no, we're gonna put you in C. How do you get, how do you lose via getting eaten and shit, you know? Big Mom and Emperor should default to S. But I'm torn because, actually no, I sh you know what, it's been decided. Big Mom's going to S. I was torn because I felt like her weaknesses 
make her like significantly beatable compared to the rest of the people like she and then at the end of the day even though she's like kind of a bad guy i feel like she's got like a good heart to a degree like she aspires to have a whole kingdom full of people of all like races and species and shit you know she has a gang of kids she's very nice and friendly to children and shit motherly in nature but like the hunger pangs thing kind of erased her personality just made her mad violent but why i can confirm her for s is because her fucking powers to like snatch years off your soul that's insanely powerful insanely powerful i don't know why i was even debating you feel me but this is this is it this is this is my list this is what we're gonna go with this is my one piece villain tier list uh uh so to recap let's start from the bottom this chick i don't remember uh because i don't remember you holy jones because fishman island didn't do it for me virgo because you know the armor's strong and shit but what did you do after that this guy who's worked with blackbeard because i don't know anything you did aside from get out of prison you let people get out of prison every day who are you um um foxy because you know like he's he's a goofy you know it's, it's a fun time but are you, are you a real threat as a villain no no you're not i'm sorry you're not um this guy from drum island i think that's where he's from because i have to even debate it how can i put you anything higher than that plus what did you do captain kuro syrup village is the worst arc in one piece if that arc stops you i beg you to continue move forward shit skip it all you gotta know is Usopp gets the ship from the girl he likes and all that stuff he's a liar woo woo move on because it only gets better from there and then the pervert man because we respect the women big mom's kids c tier because they're just her kids and this guy is strong as shit but he also gets eaten to lose and that's I don't know, maybe he deserves a tier above everyone else because he actually did something. There's a storyline there, but no, we're gonna leave him here. This is completed. Jack, because he's violent and strong and big bounty, but I don't know yet. You gotta do some more for me, kill coach. Shiki, um, strong world's cool, but you're not even really canon. Well, you are canon, but you haven't done anything canon in the series aside from like the previous shit. Matter of fact, I gotta move Shiki up because I just remember he's part of the fucking old crew with all the other people. Um, and I like Strong World a lot. Why not put him in B? I think I'll put him in B because he's only been in movies and he hasn't actually showed up in a real plot in a real way aside from like other material. Vin Smoke's son. You know, you're a son. You're somebody's son. You, Nicki Minaj's son. You know, I, I just can't. I can't vibe with you. You can't get higher than that. Caesar. Evil, but you know, the main protagonist of a weaker arc and shit. Does a lot of fuck shit. Um, and then kind of, you know, I mean, he stays shitty the whole time, but he's not. I don't know. I don't like him. He's not cool. Um, cool powers, kind of an underling. Movie guy. Goofy looking design that takes away from the coolness. Um, lackey. He kind of leader of the other people, but also just like a spoiled brat child loser guy. Um, cool powers, uh, but again, a lackey as well. You know what I'm saying? Who are you? You know what I'm saying? And then the beats here. We got Shiki, which I just debated with. You know why I like Sh why Shiki goes there. Rod Lucci. Main fight but still not really the antagonistic force, not the really emotional core of that arc. So I can't really do more for you than that. You know what I'm saying? The father, daddy issues, you know? Goaded, but too goofy to go higher, you know? I honestly was like advocating for you. You know what I'm saying? I really wanted better for you, but I, I just can't do it. Um, she's funny and her powers require a creative fight and that's cool. This guy was doing like crazy um, free running shit beforehand and that was dope putting emotional core of that arc uh actually overpower super villain super uh dope guy that does cool shit even though he looks goofy how do you have this goofy looking character have such a deep backstory He's just different um overpowered even though i don't like the arc and now definitely power wise would deserve to go in the s tier but just because i don't really like skype like that that's why he's there he's super strong but only in the prison so what can you do kuma goaded but you know like not even really a bad guy uh smoker again antagonistic force but not really a villain to me you know what i'm saying sengoku straight up golden buddha man you know what i'm saying but outside of that what's he done you know um arlon villain from the arc that made me think i gotta keep going you know what i mean you 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 are important to me becoming the fan that i am today and then in the s tier we got big mom and emperor no doubt aokiji goaded the coolest fucking uh marine my favorite marine personally uh katakuri probably the cool not the coolest but i think probably the coolest fight um in terms of just the battle of wills and shit like that crocodile big major force kind of took everything up a notch 
Doflamingo, Drip King, different, built different, Celestial Dragon, Chestnut Checkers. Somebody gotta beat this guy's ass straight up. Blackbeard, probably the main bad guy. Also Chestnut Checkers. Fujitora, wholesome energy. Also super strong and cool. Um, crazy. Light Powers, also super strong and cool. And Kaido, again, an emperor, a progressive king and um, all that shit. That has been it. That has been my tier list of One Piece of Villains. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope I was entertaining enough for you. If you disagree with me, hit my comments, but don't be mean to me, because I'm, I'm still a rookie at this. I've been a One Piece fan for like a year, you know what I'm saying? Everyone else has been on this journey for like 20 plus years. You know what I'm saying? I've been here for like a year, year and a half. So be gentle with my choices. If you enjoyed the video, let me know. Maybe I'll do some more of these, uh, because you know, I was honestly nervous that, that that would be tough to do, but I had a decent time, it was cool. Just hashing it out. That's been it for the video. Thank you for watching. It's been your boy, Arch the OB. Uh, One Piece is that shit, you should watch it, but you probably won't because you don't like peak fiction and that's okay. I can't force you to love yourself. That's a journey we all go on at our own pace, you know what I'm saying? And if you don't love yourself enough to watch One Piece, then who am I to judge, you know what I mean? But until next time, thank you for watching and I'll be back. Hit all the buttons, hit them all, the buttons, hit all the buttons, hit all the buttons, please. We are not making the progress that I need. <laughs> I don't know how to close videos. Goodbye.